I'm Caitlin, and I'm a graduate student in psychology, and I'm graduating soon. And I've used the Smart Pen for four years. And before using the Smart Pen, I didn't really like school, and I had trouble taking notes in class when the teachers talk so fast and you can't keep up. But now, I never miss a word. Um, and I'm Shannon. Um, I'm a psychology um, major with a minor in communications. And I've used the Smart Pen for about a year and a half. And I've experienced the same um, thing that in classes I'm able to interact a lot more because I'm not trying to focus on getting everything down super fast. So we're going to share with you a little tip to how to take smart notes with the smart pen. Um, and we're going to pass around some smart pens that you can look at as well too and some notebooks that go with the smart pen. You'll notice that the pen is slightly larger than a normal pen and um, you can just pass them around. You take notes like you normally would. So here, the smart pen, what it does is it records everything that's going on. Can I see your pen? Mm -hmm. It records everything that your teachers are saying while you're taking notes. Um, so you take notes like you normally would on the special dot paper that has a dot pattern that correlates to the camera inside the pen. So the pen has just one button. That's the on and off button. You use the notebook to record your notes. The display screen tells you what you're recording, the time, the date, there's a calculator. At the bottom here, if you look at the pens that we're passing around, there's a camera inside and that's how it works to capture your handwriting and pair it with the notes, the audio that's being recorded. So um, that's kind of like what the pen does so that you're able to take notes and you don't have to write down every single word because the audio is being captured while you're taking notes. So how do you take your notes? You use your smart pen and you have to have this special dot paper that we're passing around. If you look really close at the paper, there's tiny, tiny dots on the page and that's how it works. There are some buttons at the bottom of the screen so you would press record to begin taking notes. Take your notes like you normally would and press stop at the end of class. And at the end, you have your notes on the go wherever you go. So here's those buttons one more time. Record, stop, and pause. You can jump through your notes. You can bookmark star important things. Play, slow the voices down if your teachers talk really fast. You can slow it down or speed it up if you're cramming to study. Um, and you can change the volume. So Shannon's going to do a little demonstration. So these are my notes that I took during class. So in order for my notes to start the audio, I just put my pen over. And then it will start to play out of my pen. Um, and then I can jump throughout my notes with this button as well too. And it will jump about five seconds. Um, then you also have a feature over here to jump either starting at the beginning of your lecture 50% um, through or at the very end. Um, you can also make bookmarks uh, while you're listening back to your lecture and then you can also make bookmarks while you're in lecture as well recording. Um, and then you can scroll throughout your bookmarks while you're listening back um, just to jump throughout your page for the important parts that are going to be on your exam. So that kind of helps when you're cramming for your exam and you're studying to go a little bit faster throughout your notes. Um, and then you can, we'll show you how to speed up as well too. So if we play again, um, you can speed up the notes so it can sound a little bit faster or you can slow them down as well too. So if there's a, this is really good for science majors because if there's a word that you're really trying to grasp and it's really hard to pronounce, um, you can slow it down so you can really hear how the teacher pronounces it. Um, and then you can turn up the volume and turn it down as well too. Um, so um, after you have your notes, um, you're going to plug in your pen to your computer. Um, there's a desktop that goes with your pen called Echo Desktop, and that desktop looks like this. Um, your notes will show up the same, that, the same way that they look on your um, notebook, and you'll notice that all the notes that have an audio attached to them are green, and all the notes that don't have an audio attached are black. Um, when you click on the notes, they will play out loud. Um, and then you have the same buttons at the bottom as well, too, that you can use. Um, you have the jump button, the bookmarks that you can jump through. You can slow down your notes and speed up your notes. Um, and the coolest feature is you have a search option over here 
or you can search your notes fast so that when you're trying to create a study guide, um, you can find the key terms fast and then pull your notes from that and convert it into a Word document if you'd like. So if you'd like to know more information about how to use the pen, just come by and ask us more questions. Thank you for your time.